Alright, hi everybody. I am in the car right now, as you can see, and we're driving down the road, and I am about to to go on a 1500 mile journey in the search for more pianos. Now, with our video series that we've been doing, there's some missing gaps of pianos that we don't that we haven't filmed yet, and I'm not gonna say what pianos those are, because while we're going on this journey to find those pianos, we might not be able to see them because they might have sold. But the journey is going to be incredible, and hopefully you guys wanna come along with me. I'm gonna be documenting the trip in this vlog type of video with the camera. I'm gonna be filming the inside of stores. We're gonna be going and seeing all kinds of different, we have a huge list of different stores that we might be going and seeing. We're gonna be trying to find Fazioli's. We're gonna be trying to find um, Shigeru Kawai's. I want to find um, at least maybe two or three different Shigeru Kawai's and see just how consistent they are because I've played on several and I know that they're consistent, but I, but I want to see how consistent. Um, Shigeru Kawai is the most consistent piano company in the mar on the market today, and I just want to see how consistent their pianos really are. And I want to try some of the smaller sizes as well, as the uh, the nine foot um, SKEX. And uh, we're going to be trying to find the coolest pianos that we possibly can, and we're going to be doing all kinds of neat videos. So here we go. Let's start it off. I'm here at the Music Connection in Redding, California, and while I don't have any acoustic pianos, I did find this cool acoustic guitar. It's an Epiphone Dobro, and I really like how it looks, and it also sounds pretty good. It's got a lot of power to it. I'm not that great at playing guitar, so I'm not really going to give you a very good demo of it. But you can take a look at it, and it's really cool. I like it a lot. If you ever wanted your two-year-old to be able to learn how to play the violin, Here's the instrument for you. This is probably the smallest violin I've ever seen. It's probably the smallest size they make. It's a 1 16th size. And it's actually got some wear, so I think some little kid out there at one point was using this. It's so cute. All right, this is the Korg SV-1 um, stage vintage thing. It actually has an actual tube in it, which is pretty cool. And I don't know a whole lot about this, so I don't exactly know how to use it, but I can tell from looking at it that you have all kinds of equalizers and effects and modulation effects, different sounds, and reverb, delay, and all kinds of different things. So you have lots of um, control with the sound, so you can probably get a lot of different sounds out of it, which is really cool. <laughs> a 1947 Fender slide guitar which is really really cool I like it a lot and then over here we have something else that's old and also very special this is a early Princeton amp it's from 1962 it does not have the reverb but it does have the uh, the vibrato feature and these two things are really really cool and uh, you can hear a little bit again I'm not a very good slide guitarist but you can get an idea of how it sounds <laughs> Triple trailer! And another one!
here in Oregon, it's actually illegal for you to pump your own gas. You have to have an employee at the gas station do it for you. So that's kind of interesting. I think the guy in the car over there thought I was filming him, but he's out of frame, so that's good. Anyway, just I just thought I'd show you that because it's kind of interesting. This is a Souter 220 Omega. It is a seven foot three piano. First of all, the first and most obvious thing being the table itself. As you can probably tell, this is actually a square piano. And of course, these never ever play well and they're impossible to stay in tune. So what someone did is they turned it into a desk. They put a sheet of glass over the keyboard so you can see that, hey, this is a piano. They even left the name on it. It's a chicory. And they added some drawers here. And it's really, really cool. I like it a lot. There's also some other interesting things, at least things I find interesting over here. Here we have um, some selection for Bosendorf on the woods you can have on your piano. This is one of my favorites. I love how that looks. It's really neat looking. We also have some action demos. This one is for Renner, and I like Renner actions, so of course I like this. It works quite well. And then over here we have one for an older one for chickering, and what's neat about this is it actually plays a note, which you don't see very often. And then I think behind it, I believe this is like a little bookshelf or something, possibly, that's made out of a piano music desk. Here we have more, you know, wood selections, this time for Schimmel. That one's pretty cool looking. And then over here we have a Kimball action demo. We have three notes, and then we also have damper pedal and the soft pedal. So there you go, that's some cool things in a music shop. I have today definitely not the best playing piano, but certainly one of the most interesting. It's not one of these. It is this. Now I'd imagine that this is designed so that customers can see the internal workings of the Yamaha piano that they're going to buy. And I think it's really cool because you can actually look inside the side of the piano and actually see all of the things working. And yes, it actually does play. They also have another one of these for an upright piano. Now this one is not in tune because it's actually very difficult to attune the highest notes on an upright piano and any piano in general. But it's still the basic concept and I really enjoy like looking inside and seeing all the keys moving. Ignore the sound, but it's really cool to be able to see what goes on inside of your piano. <laughs> 